Let's create this chart that's controlled by dropdowns in three minutes. We have sales year to date for each region, but let's say we want to compare it to our year to date expenses, our median sales and median expenses. So we've added those columns in. I tend to just copy paste and then delete the info because I find it easier to keep the format that way instead of starting over. Now we needed to name these headings median sales and median expenses with an underscore because we're going to use named ranges here in a moment, but then we're going to use the median formula on each of these. It's really straightforward. You just type in equals median and select each column and make sure you hit F4 to lock it. Now we're selecting the first section here and we're going down to named range. So we're using the same headings here that we've got in our spreadsheet and then let's say done and then we need to select the next one and click add range and we're going to call this median sales. Make sure you keep the underscore and then we need to repeat the step again. So we highlight these four cells and then go to data named ranges and then let's name this one median underscore expenses. Named ranges, like I said, require the underscore. So make sure you have it. And you'll see here in a second that I made a mistake when we test this and I forgot to do it in column D. So we're going to fix that in a moment. But now what we need to do is data validation. We're going to add a drop down. So we want to select it from a range. So we click the little window looking icon, click in the box, and then we're going to select the three headings across the top and then hit done. When you close out of here, we're going to go test it out. And when you click on these, nothing's happening yet because we need a formula. We're going to add if error to prevent seeing anything if there's an error, but we're using the indirect function and we're going to select cell C1 because that's where our dropdown resides. And then we put double quotes to leave a blank if there is an error. Now, when we test this, we notice that the bottom two work, but the top didn't. And that's because I forgot my underscore at the top here under year to date expenses. So once we correct that, we're all good. Now I'm gonna change this to a darker blue just so I can see it. I didn't like that light gray in the white text. Hit done and we're gonna close out of this. Now what we need to do is select these first three columns and go to insert chart. And then we wanna select a combo chart. So we're gonna go down into the right, combo chart, and let's close, looks good. Next, I am going to just move this in place and then double click and let's bold our title and we could format however you want, but let's do a center and then let's change this background to a light gray so it pops a little bit more. Now let's change the blue to a brighter color. So we're going to double click on it and let's change that fill outline to yellow and then fill color to yellow looking good. And then now let's click on that red line. You can change this type to a stepped area or any of the other options. And now when you click on your dropdown, that line is going to adjust compared to your year-to-date sales. Looks good.